Have you ever enumerated all the subdomains of a target and then you're just left having to do 10 different FF or GoBuster scans where the target can't even handle that amount of requests? Well, no more of that because Mac, the tool that we're gonna cover today, is going to help you fix that. What is Mac? Well, Mac is not the girl next door. No, it's an amazing tool that you need to know about. More and more people these days are getting into bug bounty and more and more scans are being launched and some servers are just not ready for them. They just can't handle all of that traffic. And we want to scan a ton of endpoints, but we also want the server to stay responsive because if the server isn't responsive, then well, our scanning has no point. And a, lo a lot of the tools these days, they are focused on getting faster doing more requests per second, doing more and more and more, uh, distributing re requests and all barraging one single server, and sometimes that is not the best option because sometimes you need to go slower for the server to be able to handle all that. And TomNomNom has come up with the brilliant idea of not just scanning your targets one by one, but distributing the traffic between them. So instead of barraging a single server with 100 requests per second, we can send one request to a hundred servers per second. This way everybody can keep up and we're still sending out the same amount of requests per second and we're still getting the same amount of data per second. Now let's get into how we can install and run this tool. How to install Mac. Installing Mac could not be easier all we have to do is go to the GitHub page and on the right click on the releases page. From there you can select the release that fits your architecture and download this file. Now all we have to do is to extract this file using the tar command as shown here and that will give us the mag binary that we can run. Our first run. Let's stop talking about Mac and let's actually start running it. The first thing we need obviously is a file with our targets. Now I have created that file here where you can see I just put in a couple of subdomains of integrity. However, in your case, this file will probably come from a different tool or it will be very, very long with a lot, with a lot of endpoints. Now we can start running Mac. So I have my Mac installed here. And the first argument I'm going to give to Mac is dash dash verbose. Uh, because else Mac doesn't output anything to the screen. However, just for the sake of this video, I wanted to output something so that we can obviously look into that. Next up, I am going to want to include a file that is going to be the word list for the endpoints that we're going to check. So for every one of these target domains, it's going to check specific endpoints. And my word list in this case is going to come from user share dirbuster slash word lists and then let's use small.txt then I want to have my host file so the file that contains the targets and then we can run that and we can see we can immediately get some results and we can assess those results so here we see out uh, slash challenge on integrity slash this hash that is the file where it has stored the result of this um, of this query then we have our um, the endpoint that generated a result here. In this case, that's challenge.integrity.io slash 03, which returned a 308, a permanent redirect. Uh, we see in the next request that we have one for integrity.com, then for go.integrity.com, then blog.integrity.com, then again challenge.integrity.com. So it's just um, sending requests, altering between which target it's sending the request to, to as to not overload any of these targets. We see that we get a lot of responses here, um, but let's just stop the scan for now and look at the output that Mac generates. And that output is found in the out directory by default. However, you can obviously change that. And here we see that we have directories which eat with each name of an endpoint, and we also have this index file. Now this index file is the most useful one in the beginning because that contains all of the entries and from that we can get the data that we want. For example, if I want all the endpoints on blog.integrity.com, I will just cat out slash index and then do a grep on there for blog.integrity.com. And now we have all the files, all the endpoints for blog.integrity.com here. 
uh, that were found. We can see that most of these are 404s or 301s. Uh, but do not worry about those in the section that's coming up next the features we're going to talk about how you can uh, remove 404s or 301s from this list however let's say i want to review this moved permanent permanently one i want to see where it was moved to so let's just cat out that file that was created and that shows us the response here um, which is that it is redirected by WordPress to uh, zero with a slash behind it. So this might be a directory that is found. And that is this tool. That is how you run it. However, as I said earlier, in the next section, we're gonna talk about some of the options that you can set for this tool to really customize it. Features of Mac. Now, Mac can obviously do a lot of things. Um, and right now we are going to kind of assess the help page of Mac. So let's show that help page. Um, so my Mac binary and then dash dash help. Here we see the page and we see that there are some options, some um, basic options such as dash C or dash dash concurrency to set the concurrency level, uh, dash D or dash dash delay for the delay. With dash capital H or dash dash header, we can set custom headers to be sent in requests, which may be required by the bug bounty program. Dash capital L is an interesting one because that will follow these redirects. So um, well, sometimes these redirects may be redirecting to a new endpoint that you didn't know about, so that might be useful there. Um, then dash S is the most important one in my opinion here. And that is that you can specify certain status codes that will be saved. So in, in the case earlier, we saw that we got some 404s and some 302s. You might not want to get those. You might only be interested in 200 codes. So you can do that with dash S200. Um, and then the dash for both, we saw that. And then the dash X is to change the method. In this case, we're doing a get, that's a default. However, it might also be very interesting to do a, a head where we only get the headers back. If you want that, that uh, can obviously happen with the dash capital X option. And those are the main options for Mag here. Conclusion and outro. We have shown how we can use Mag, how we can install it, and how great of a tool it is to do a lot of things at once without barraging a server or taking it down. Now note that this tool is a tool that is great to um, integrate in your in your whole set of things that you do. It's not a tool that will give you exploits immediately, but it's a great one to add into automation, for example, and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, it might be interesting to see how you can integrate this tool in your tool chain. However, that was it for today's video. Today we covered Mac. However, in the next weeks, we will cover different tools in our Hacker Tools series. If you have any recommendations for tools that you would like us to cover, then comment them down below. As always, if you like the video, like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and follow us on Twitter for more InfoSec and Bug Bounty related tweets. Take care, everybody.